Hello everybody, welcome back to MLB The Show 16, Chicago White Sox Franchise Mode, here on JT Plays. We've hit the All-Star break, we're actually going to send the three games in Atlanta, but we've hit the All-Star break, and the White Sox right now have two contenders, and they both are in second place in their respective positions. Jose Bregu over at first. And then Todd Frazier at the other end of the diamond at third. So we're going to sim the All-Star game. We're going to sim up to it. We'll talk standings. And we'll talk basically about the team. Look at a couple of other things. And that will cover this episode. So guys, if you're excited, hit that thumbs up. Let me know, should we initiate trades? Because there's a lot of people, including starters. And offense and even... Guaranteed players you might think that are right on the chopping block. You've probably seen a lot of them. You probably already know if you're a White Sox fan or a, another fan of a team. But let me know in the comments below. With that said, let's get into the episode. So calendar, we are actually going to submit through the 14th. And let's see. Gerard Chance is no longer injured. He's one of our minor league players, obviously, AAA. We will place on bench. And how about this? We're just talking about trades. Angels offer us. We're going to at least view it because it is... Well, it's the White Sox. So they want Hector Sanchez, Mario Marino, and Zach Putnam. I know Putnam hasn't been the greatest. Hector Sanchez, well... He's, um... You really see no playing time out of him. So, would it make sense? Probably. Mario Marino. I do not believe he is on the starting pitching squad. No, he is not. He is all the way down in double A. So far, he's 4 and 6, 98 strikeouts. And um, he's not having a good year. Not having a good year. They want to offer Quentin Berry up. So we are going to go to center field. We are going to look why. Obviously, they have Mike Trout. This man is 31 years old, 73 overall C potential. So far, 3 home runs, 18 RBIs, 5 stolen bases. He is 47 for 182, 258 average, 20 runs, and he struck out 47 times. Drew 19 walks, 10 doubles. He looks pretty solid. So we are giving up Hector Sanchez, who, let's be honest, is never going to see playing time. And um, right now, our center field scenario, Austin Jackson. But then who else? J.B. Shock, he's not going to do anything. Zach Putnam, we'll look at him last. 28 years old. I mean, there's still a little, little, little bit. But right now, he's 0-4. There's not much potential. 29 walks, 46 Ks. But he is allowed, well, 7 home runs. As a reliever, it's not going to get any far. So, we are actually going to accept this offer. We are going to get Quentin Berry backing up Austin Jackson. And, as you see Quentin Berry's stats, decent contact. So, he's a contact guy just like Jackson. His speed might not be up there, but he can play, obviously, other positions in the outfield. And right now... We really do need that. Melky Cabrera is on the DL. And Adamine and Avisil Garcia, well, let's be honest. They're not having the best of years. So we're going to accept this trade. It is the first trade of the franchise. And we are going to continue to sim all the way here. Michael Ramirez sustained an injury. Keep him active. Peter Ross, um, he'll still be injured. Activate. And we put him on the bench. Today it's the Futures game. One of our controlled teams has all-star players. Triple A, more than likely. We're not going to stop simulating. J-Roll, good news for us. He's come back. He is key. He was um, he was actually a quarter of our offense in the beginning of the year. We will place him on the bench. We get another trade. The Marlins are offering us a trade. Might as well view it and... This could be huge. Ichiro Suzuki, yes. He's in his final year, but... Do we sign him for another year after this? Well, who are we giving up? We're giving up Juan Casillo. He is a starting pitcher 
all, all the way down in double A. 4-7, 93 strikeouts, 94 innings pitched, 3-8-3 ERA as a starter. It's okay, it's not the worst. And then another catcher we're giving up, Sean De La Rosa. Let's go check him out. We obviously are already down to one catcher in DeAndre Navarro. He's getting up there. We have Peter Ross. He'll probably be our guy, but Sean De La Rosa, well, he's in double A's lung as well with Michael Fior. And 19 years old, 52. For each row, we're not going to accept it. So we are going to decline, even though each row is up there. We end up losing the Atlanta series. Go figure. But now it's time for the All-Star game. We're going to sim through it. Today's the MLB Home Run Derby. One of our players has been selected. Unfortunately, we are not going to participate. So skip that. Peter Ross, place on bench. Again, we have Frazier and Jose Brave in the All-Star game. We are not going to play it. We're going to obviously sim in. How about that? The AL defeats the NL. So, yeah, AL's going to have home series or world series home field advantage, however you want to word that. What does that mean for us? Well, if we somehow make the playoffs and defy the odds of baseball everywhere, we have home field in the World Series. So, today's a AAA All-Star game. Again, no. And right, you know, right when we get the trade news about Sean De La Rosa, he's going to be out a few days. However, 19 years old, he's fresh. We drafted him, I do believe. And, um, out for a few days, that's whatever. And the IL has defeated the PCL in the 2016 AAA All-Star Game. Don't really care about that. So, guys, that was the All-Star break. A lot, a lot, a lot of news. Angels trade with us goes through. Marlins for each row. Maybe saw that coming, some of you. But, um, we didn't accept it. Couldn't give them up. So, let's go ahead and go to sign draft picks. We reached the All-Star break, and there were still unsigned players from the draft. We have until the regular season to sign them in. Well, you're looking at all of them right here. Relievers, third baseman, shortstop, left field, catcher. Maybe we'll look at some guys. I don't know, but we're going to quickly browse the selection here. Obviously, being 29 games below 500, yeah, it's not going to really get you anything, but, um... We're just browsing through guys, and how about this? Luis Torres, 68 overall, 19 years old, potential of a 74. We would very much like that, but right now I think our focus is on relievers, starters. So we're going to look at very quickly the rest of the guys that really aren't in the draft. And this guy is 75 overall, however, his potential is to go down. He bats righties, don't really care about that. The Rose righties. As well as with every single other person, they are all righty pitchers, hitters, uh, field, just whatever. They're all righties. Dan Cincinnati, not going to take him. Diego Ross, 65 years old, or not 65, 65 overall right now, potential of a 77, 20 years old. It's between Derek Meyer and Diego Rios. Right now, 18 years old, 75 overall, he could go down or take the chance. Two years old with Diego Rios, 65 overall, but 77 potential. I think we are going to make Diego Rios an offer. So, we're going to offer 150000 for whatever for a year. He's accepted. So, we do have him now. So, we are going to back out. Transactions. We have two transactions. Prospect, top prospect for the Reds organization. Leroy Brasky is called up to the majors. And the Brewers have made a roster move. They've called up top prospect Willie Peralta. Sure. Don't know where he's a top prospect, but sure. And finally, manage roster. We've called up Mark Augustine because of the catcher trade with the Angels and basically this is all just organization moves we're gonna skip it but we do have a new catcher or not catcher excuse me we have a new 
Oh, where is he? We have a new uh, center fielder, Quinn Berry. That was it. 31 years old, two years older than Austin Jackson. He is worse, but right now we barely have any outfielders. We need the death, I guess you could call it. So, with that said, that was the all-star break, guys. It was a very, very interesting one. Let's take a look at standings. We'll close out this video. Obviously, 29 games below 500. We're gonna, you're gonna have to start winning some games. You're gonna have to go on some mad, mad, crazy winning streaks. But that's our division. Indians are on top of that game over the Tigers. Twins are two out. Royals are eight out. If we go to the East, the Blue Jays comfortably sitting in first there over the Yankees, six and a half out. And then. Also in the AL, Astros, two games over the Athletics, three over the Mariners, seven over the Angels, who just made that trade with, and then eight and a half over the Rangers. Wild card, Yankees Athletics at top. NL, Mets are winning that division, three games over the Nationals. Not really surprising, but a very competitive division. NL Central, Cubs, eight and a half over the Pirates Cardinals. Literally like real life right now. Maybe not 23 games above 500, but uh, that's a pretty accurate division, except maybe swap the Reds and the Brewers. NL West, our Giants are third, six and a half out. Very tight division between second and fourth right there. Dodgers leading the way at six games above the Padres. And a wild card Nationals, Pirates, Cardinals are all tied. Obviously, the Pirates and Cardinals being in the same division. So guys, hopefully you did enjoy this episode of Chicago White Sox Franchise Baseball here on MLB The Show 16. All-Star break. Trades have happened. We were just talking about them. We got two offers. We accepted the Angels for Quentin Berry. We'll see if it pays off in the end of the year.